A Michigan woman is pleading with the government to crack down on drunk driving. Raina Abbas Taylor lost her sister, brother in law, and their three children in 2019 when a drunk driver was going the wrong way and hit their car. She says that driver changed her world. It would take me six months to feel safe leaving my home, a year to go out in public again. I just wanted to disappear from a world I no longer recognized or felt a part of. I didn't just lose my family that day, I lost the person I was when they existed. Everything about me had been erased or permanently altered. Taylor joined Mothers Against Drunk Driving and became passionate about fighting against drunk driving, especially when she found out that there's technology available that can help prevent drivers who are impaired from getting behind the wheel. She spoke today at a news conference about the Roadmap to Safety report. It encourages states to strengthen road safety laws, including those related to drunk driving. These laws, such as requiring all convicted drunk drivers to install an ignition interlock on their cars, making it illegal to have an open container of alcohol in a vehicle, and lowering state BAC laws to .05 are backed by research and data. The wor they work, and we need government at all levels to embrace what works. According to the Roadmap to Safety report, Michigan ranks in the lowest nine states in the country for dangerous road rules. The group advocates for highway and auto safety, calling on states to strengthen road safety laws. Several areas that they think Michigan needs to improve include child safety restraints, teen driving training, and seatbelt and helmet laws. You can read more about the report at woodtv.com.